Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Time is but a window. Today we're going to be doing another Overwatch. And here you can see the suspect looked like he was aiming right at the ground when he shot at his AWP, but didn't actually kill anyone. Looks like he's going to be aiming at the ground again. Let's see if he's actually able to take someone down here. It looks like he's peeking and he shoots the wall. That is some high sensitivity, guys. And look at that. He keeps flicking up and shooting that guy just because he's so talented that he doesn't even need to try. So he's just like, you know what? I'm going to look at the ground and I'm still going to flick up and kill you after each bullet. Yeah. Wow. This is the next shroud, guys. All right, we're going to move on because I think that we all can tell that this guy is the best player in the world. All right, guys, so in case number one for the day, we can say that this guy was not doing any griefing. As far as I could tell, he was just going around destroying the other team. So insufficient evidence there. Now we got major disruption, other external assistance. And while he was doing these crazy trick shots by walking around staring at the ground, he was definitely not using any other external assistance. I'm just kidding. Uh, major disruption vision assistance. Yes, he was trying to shoot people through walls the entire time. So evident beyond reasonable doubt there as well. And then major disruption aim assistance. If he wasn't using aim assistance and I actually was misled with him using an anti-aim, uh, you know, so that people can't hit him and <laughs> vision assistance and he's just that good and that aware, then he really needs a gold medal. But he's not. So evident beyond reasonable doubt. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and the next one is on its way. All right, guys, and we are on to case number two. And here you can see the suspect has 27 kills with 203 damage around. He's blocking his teammates here. I'm going to say that's probably griefing. Probably. Either that or he's just being a really good teammate because he knows how dangerous it is inside these doors. Either way, he's going to hold here and see if anyone decides to push while keeping his teammates out of this location. And it seems to be working for his team pretty well, because they were able to get the first pick, and then they got another pick here, though they did lose one. And uh, I think this is benefiting his team. Duck is pushing his way up catwalk. Anchor jumps over him, so he decides to shoot Anchor as a warning of how dangerous this room can be. Meanwhile, the suspect will sit right here with his 27 or 25 kills, and make his way around here towards Long. Uh, he's got 27 kills, I guess, and two TKs. He's going to take down Blackbird. One more guy in CT spawn. He does spot him. He is not quite able to take him down in time. Because of that, the CTs were uh, able to win that round. Spots out Eclipse here. Takes a shot. Taps another one with Blackbird. Another one Flamingo's coming over. Almost kind of looked like he might be locking on people's heads, but maybe not. Definitely a griefing charge, though. Because you can't protect your teammates like that. You gotta let them leave the nest at some point. Either way, he's gonna make his way over here through B-Tunnel. He's through the flashbang in. Comes in afterwards. And he's gonna spot three guys here. Looked like he was caught off guard by them. So I don't think he's walling. So he's going to make his way over here towards middle. One guy making his way towards long. And one guy in T-spawn. He is able to take down sheep in T-spawn. One more guy pushing up on him. He's able to spray him down. Another guy here behind the pillar. Picks up the AK. He's got plenty of time to switch to it and take down Nautilus. That's going to leave just two terrorists left. And they made their way over towards long. Now, Flamingo is able to take down one of his teammates' mask. And the suspect's going to continue to push behind them here. Bomb is making his way up long A. Let's see if he decides to uh, go up cat. Yes. Yes, he does. Meanwhile, one of his teammates is fighting in sight. It looks like Duck. Shooting at Blackbird and Flamingo. Suspect doesn't want to wait around forever. He's going to spot out Blackbird and take him down. That's the bomb, too. And he's going to get traded out. Which means the terrorists are actually going to win that round. 
Auto Sniper there in middle does tag him once, but not enough to stop him. He's going to push up through here. What's his ping out of curiosity? 54. He looks laggy. Let's be honest. His game just seems a little laggy. Look at how his gun animations work and stuff. Either way, he's able to take down Eclipse. And uh, looks like he's going to pick up this SG-553. He's able to take down Sheep. That was a really good shot. It's almost like he knew he was there. Now he has an auto sniper, and he's going to be making his way towards Long, where one of the last two terrorists are. Make okay, he's going to turn this corner, spots him in sight, takes him down. One more guy in sight, takes some shots at him. He actually had a chance to kill the suspect there, but he just wasn't able to hit the shots. Now, this is kind of a tricky case because, as you can see, it froze, and... Reporting a case when it's frozen like this is damn near impossible. So guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here we are again. I don't actually remember which round we left off, but I got the game going again, and he's got this auto sniper. He's pushing long. He's able to take down two guys here, spamming that door. Not really on target there. The guy is going to cross over. One more guy peeks him. He's able to take him down. And, wow, he's just racking him up. That's a four kill right there. And one more on Catwalk. Do you think he'll be able to chase him down before his teammates? It is possible. No, his teammate is going to take him down instead. And the CTs do manage to win that round. Suspect's going to nade long again. He's able to take down three guys here at long. This makes it look so easy. And now we gotta determine, while he is griefing, is he using any form of cheat, or is he just a lot better than the other team? He could be smurfing and being an asshole at the same time. It is a possibility. Either way, he's gonna push his way through tunnels here, and four guys are making their way up towards Long. Mask is gonna take down one. The other three are bunching up. They don't know exactly what to do. They don't want to take on that AWP, so they're going to make their way back towards middle. Meanwhile, the suspect here is flanking them, and he's going to look down mid. Spots out one, is able to take down Blackbird. One more guy going up catwalk, and it uh, looks like he's not going to be able to spot him out, but his teammate did see him, so he knows at least one guy is cat, and I think he should know if there's one guy at long. It doesn't seem like he's going to go straight for him at this point. Checks towards sight. Meanwhile, his teammate could have told him a long time ago that the guy was that long, but I take it that he does not want to communicate with the suspect and probably blocked him, at least blocked communication. And yes, he's going to take down Eclipse with a nice little flick shot. All right, so now we have to determine if this guy was just a good dick or just a total dick. So first up, we're going to talk about griefing, and we saw him blocking his teammates at long on multiple occasions. Uh... It wasn't just that he was trying to protect them, he was actually trying to hinder their play. So if you guys actually think that he was trying to protect them, you might want to re-watch this video. So I'm going to have to say, evident beyond reasonable doubt. Now, we got major disruption aim assistance, uh, major disruption vision assistance, and other external assistance. Well, the easiest one to get rid of is other external assistance. We didn't see any bunny hop scripts or anti-aim, so insufficient evidence there. Then we're moving on to vision assistance. Was he aiming on people through walls? Or was he uh, able to know where everyone was? Was he ever caught off guard? And yes, it felt like he was often caught off guard in this game. I didn't feel like he had more awareness over where people should be than any normal person would. Especially one that's been playing the game for a while. And it did feel like he was someone that had played the game for a while. So I'm going to have to say insufficient evidence there. Now, aim assistance is a possibility. But we need to know beyond reasonable doubt if he was definitely using aim assistance. And while a couple of the rounds were a little bit fishy here and there, most of his kills were just snapping to the chest and just kind of spraying them down. Now, I do know that you can set an aim bot to go to any place on the body or the closest location on the body. Uh, you know, the closest location to your crosshair. So, I mean, it could have been something like that. But as far as I could tell, that wasn't anything any human could not do. So I'm going to have to say insufficient evidence. I know a lot of you guys are going to disagree with me on this, but it looks like this guy is just going to get banned for a griefing charge this time. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video.